it's Sarah and I'm just back to share the finished ATC cards I did the other day um, this is a mosaic done with glass tiles mostly there's Millifloria in here um, and I changed it a little bit I just I pulled off some of the edge ones and I just wanted to remember I said I want it to be smoother on the edges so that you know if it's handled it won't cut anyone and I like it I like the way it turned out so I just pulled a few other pieces of the tree and put these edge ones on I think it turned out just fine I grouted it with gray and the millifilori are very low profile so they're not this wide so it goes down um, but that's kind of the fun of working in mixed media it's gonna give you that you know, now I could use taller tiles and it would be, you know, have a different feel to it. So that's all done. Never finished the back or signed it, but I made a couple other ones. I had shared this one. This was the first one I made. And I liked it because I did that edging. I did that frame around it with the, the consistent tile that kind of kept it smooth, you know. Um, and then I did this one. This was the next one. And this was inspired by an ATC I had drawn on black cardstock. It was a Zenspirations um, inspired Zentangle type thing. Um, and it's just kind of a sunrise or a sunset, either way. But I did it with tile. And I wanted to use those, um, these are called Van Gogh tiles. They're like foil backed but they're they're more like they have a dendritic effect in them and they're they're glass so they're clear um i wanted to use them so i used this part for this big hill and then these are just uh penny rounds that i cut to kind of represent bushes which that wasn't on here you know i just kind of threw them in i had this um bling chain i call it in green so this is actually, uh, you can find this in the jewelry department. It's a chain of, um, it's like set in a, in a bezel type thing. Anyway, and then I put this green on the bottom kind of as like the grass base, little glitter here, and I just used some different blues for the sky and yellow for the sun, and I love it. I think this is so cute. I really love this one. And again, mostly the same height or width, I guess. This is a little more um, low profile than the, than the other ones. So there were a couple dips. You know, just had to make sure that I pulled all the grout out of this area here. Um, but I, I just wanted to make sure, and see, I kind of caught myself there. It's a little sharp, but they're not, you know, it's not that sharp. I wanted to make sure. And then the last one I did was kind of a little Valentine's one. Again, that this is red Van Gogh glass. So it's got that dendritic effect to it, but it's it's foil, but with glass. And then this is another one of those um, like bling chain, but a much bigger size. And I just cut one of them off. And used it for the center and did I use and this is ball chain so um, I, I framed the heart first with the ball chain and then I filled it in and then I ended up putting rounds for like a little um, lacy effect on the outside and then I just silver frosted it I don't know this one's it's a heart you know what can I tell you cute so I have four so far and then I started working on a rock I think, I, ha I don't know her name, but there is a tutorial on YouTube um, doing this on a rock, a heart. Um, I think it's a blue rock. She uses the bead chain to frame it the same exact way. Um, and then, she and she uses glue. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, I haven't grouted this yet, but I'm going to tape it off. I'm going to use painter's tape wherever I put that. Oh gosh, I'm right here on my desk. So I'm just going to tape this off and really try not to get grout all over the rock. I mean, that's just one way of looking at it because I could probably um, get, get grout on the rock like and not care. But I'm going to try it this way first, the, the not getting grout on the rock part, try. Um, 
So I'm gonna hmm, try and tape this off. Anywho, I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back to grout this. And I already started another littler one. So this is much bigger. And I got some new tiles today. So the next video you see, um, I'm going to do uh, kind of an unboxing, but it's all unboxed. But anyway, it's a big haul of all of this type of stuff. Um, all right, you guys. So I'll be back, and I'm going to grout this. All right, I'm excited. This is always so fun. I'm using pre-mixed grout, and it is called Natural Gray. And I'm just going to push it. I've taped everything off. Well, not the bottom of the rock, but I want to make sure I get these sides. And this did have quite a few different heights in it. Ginny is going to get in big trouble. Ginny, Ginny, do you want your collar? Do you want me to put your collar on you? You better stop it. She's not going to listen. Now, when I say that, we have these shock collars that... Um, we got for training. Um, I think they came with the, well, no, they might not have, but with the, like, uh, invisible fence. You know how you have a collar, and then when the dog goes in the, uh, across the invisible fence, it'll beep. They don't like wearing those collars. Um, <laughs> so, usually, if I just threaten her. Now, my, my husband is on the front porch. Oh, you guys. So I am just smoothing it along the um, bead chain. And then when I wipe it, I'm going to... Yeah, see, Joe's saying the same thing. Because, like, I think she knows that she's in, in trouble when we say collar. She thinks of that as, like, well, be good. Don't come and tell me. Anyway, this is my first dog, having my first dog, and um, Kirby was. Um, Ginny is James's dog, and he never took her to any type of obedience school. Um, so she's kind of learned from being here how we treat Kirby. Um, you know, she lived like a teenager for years. <laughs> with no rules and uh, curfews, no curfews, no kennel time. Anyway, uh, I love her so much. She's such a good girl. She's so sweet. But anyway, um, hey babe, I'm filming. <gasps> Yay, thank you. I ordered some trellises from uh, Amazon and they came. Because I am doing my thing with plants, you guys. I love it. All right. So that's all I'm going to do with this. It's pretty much grouted. And um, I guess I got to give it a minute to haze over. I could take this off with a, a damp sponge, but yeah, I think I am. I think. And then I can pull off the tape. So I'm going to go into my little water bin. And this is just going to be really <laughs> squeezed out. It's a little too wet. Then I will take a cloth and See, like that triangle I just went over is much taller than the rest of them. <clears throat> so there's just a little learning curve when you're grouting with mixed media. Just to make sure you don't pull it out too much. 
I think that's Amazon telling us that we got a delivery. But that's basically it. I don't want to play around with the, uh, I think I like the way the bead chain looks, but I'm going to go over it one more time. And then I think right in the middle there, I could get a little more out. I am not an expert grouter, you guys, but it's been good enough for me. In my experience, um, I'm okay. My pieces are, are, are okay, you know. Um, you don't want any holes or it to look... Um, you know, a miss. So I think I, I think I did it. I think I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I think I really want to pull off the tape and just let it be. And I think I'm done. So let's go. Let's do it. I'm probably jumping the gun. But, you know, that's my middle name. Sarah Gun Jumper Evans. It's probably a little too wet, but I think I rocked it. Get it? Ha ha ha. I'm just gonna grab this Q-tip because I think there was a little bleed. It's a Q-tip and I'm Actually, it's glue. I am not hating this. I think, I mean, I could just wipe it. Oh, shoot. See, I should, I should be rinsing my sponge. <clears throat> That'll come off though. And that's going to be the trickiest part in the middle there. I think I did it. I'd say stop, Sarah, stop. Because I'm going to get, um, I'm going to stop. It looks good to me. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.